The victims, believed to be Bangladesh nationals, were said to have paid about $350,000 to a trafficker who is still on the run. Interpol said they were smuggled into Nigeria on the 6th of this month and rode to Europe. Mr. Mohamed Hawk, who commended the police for their prompt response, promised that appropriate actions will be taken once verification process is completed. Explaining further on how the victims were rescued, Olushala Subeiru said Bangladesh Interpol informed them that some of their nationals were trafficked to Nigeria. After getting them on interrogation, we discovered that they were trafficked into Nigeria by one of their nationals also, who has already left Nigeria. In their passport, we discovered that they have Nigerian visa issued purportedly issued in the Republic of Benin. So that aroused our suspicion. Everybody is a dream, show dream. Say only you go there, Nigeria is three day, after go Europe and any country. We are now in the process of that verification. There is a form that he has given to them that they will complete, that he will return back to his home government for verification. And then when that is done, that they are confirmed that they are Bangladeshi national, will now hand them over. The new trend now among the human traffickers, according to Interpol, is to use Nigeria as a transit point to Europe. The warning here is that all security at every port should be on a high alert. Edinor Justice, NTA News.